Well, hi everyone, it's your Gay Shark with another episode. Today I'll be talking about the anti-gay turn or burn sign at the church, uh, uh, the Seagate Community Chapel, as well as the anti-gay Republican, uh, Philip Hinkle. So I'll be talking about him and some other random stuff that's happened to me today. Um, cue intro. Yay! So hi everyone, uh, yeah, well let's start off with the uh, turn or burn sign. Um, I'll show you the sign from Unicorn Booty, and it says God loves gays, but he hates perverted lifestyle from Romans 1 through 26 through 27, turn or burn. Um, no offense to anyone who believes in that Bible. Um, God would never hate. God doesn't hate. But I don't believe in hate. I don't believe in God. Well, I, I kind of believe in hate, but only for people who really deserve it. But anyway, I don't believe in God or the Bible or anything like that. I think it's, you know, some sort of fantasy thing that they created just so that they can put the fear in people and get them to, to do whatever the Bible says. Now... No offense, but you really got to understand that the times are changing. God doesn't exist. It, it that mythical magical being doesn't exist. Get over it. Um apparently they're going the pastor David Heinberg defended the position, the decision to put up the hateful message and uh, welcome uh, Matt of a place supposedly to... Oh, here's his quote. The sign is to let people know what sin is because the majority of people out there don't even know what sin, what the sins of the Bible are. Really? Who cares about a Bible? Or uh, No, not, not, not a Bible. I'm sorry, it's not a Bible. Who cares about a book written by a whole bunch of jack-offs in a sandy area sitting here saying, oh, we must not cut off the... We must not... Um, eat fish. We must not uh, allow the woman to sit here and get away from her adulterer. Uh, we must kill her with stones. I'm sorry. Jack offs, get over it. It's really okay. Anyway, I'm probably gonna get flagged for all my, my lovely material and my flavor of words. Anyway, let's go on to the anti gay Republican, uh, Philip Hinkle. Apparently, Mr. Hinkle decided it would be okay to go to Craigslist, which I don't even know why they still do that. But anyway, he went to Craigslist to get gay sex. And not just any gay sex, teen gay sex. Uh, he went and decided he put up a message saying, he's looking for a couple of hours of your time tonight, and he'd be willing to pay 50 or $60 for a really good time. So... Emails were exchanged. Who, um, apparently he's 20, but still, I mean, I don't care. He's like, how old is this guy? Like 50, 60? I mean, how, what, what age do you think this guy is? I mean, 60, 58, I mean, he looks pretty damn old. So, of course, he's creeping, and... And if you don't know who that, if you don't know that terminology, Google it. Um, or wait, don't Google it. There's a whole bunch of different meanings of it. But I'll I'll probably give it to you anyway. But apparently the tw uh, the twenty year old, but the ad says he's eighteen. He says I need a sugar daddy. Apparently everything. Uh, uh, sh he's looking for a shakedown. So. Um, you know what that is. If you, if you know the terminology, you know it. If not, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, get your terminology. Um, apparently, kids, you tell you the truth, I don't know, um, what's going to happen to this guy. Um, there has been a couple of comments about, uh, this story on another website, but I went to Unicorn Booty, of course. Best place ever. And Shane McGarry... Uh, posted that they wanted uh, people like Mr. Um, Hinkle to serve 
jail time in prison. And I made the comment, you know, don't, let's not overcrowd or already overcrowded, you know, prisons. You know, they don't need to, you know, they don't need to go there because we'd, we'd fill them up. Anyway, so I just said, you know, we should have them publicly um, come out of the closet, you know, wearing like something sequins or something like some sort of flashy thing and say, I am a homosexual. I do take part in those extracurricular activities. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little weird today. Um, uh, that's pretty much all the news for today, except for the weirdness that's been happening at my place. Um, my landlord's maintenance guys came and decided to replace uh, the old vent for our air conditioning unit, as well as put in a brand new one. Um, they did that, and um, then I heard this weird noise like they were on the roof. They were on the roof. So, um, uh, they decided to put in like these big steel bulbous thingies, and when wind, sh when wind goes through it, they turn. I don't know what they're called. I, my dad started calling them whirly birds. I don't know. So, um, they put that on there. They put two of them on there. One, I think, over the uh, laundry room that is right outside my room. So they, they put one there, and then I think they put one on the air conditioner so that they can get more circulation. Uh, so that's what they did today, and I think that took like three hours or something like that, all in total, because uh, I think they ran into a problem with the um, air conditioner, uh, adding the second grate or whatever. Uh, I think they try I accidentally cut into the 2 by 4 supporting the house. I'm not too sure. I'm, uh, I hope they didn't, but truthfully, it's an old house, so... Eh? I'm just... I don't know. I'm weird today. Um, I also wanted to talk about something that happened recently. Uh, somebody commented on one of my videos, and like two or three people have also... Uh, left me messages on my in, in my inbox into YouTube and they they're pretty much all the exact same are you a man or a woman well I can clarify this a little bit better for you guys I am a man I have man bits uh, <laughs> I am a man uh, I did mention in like one of my other vlogs where I wanted uh, I didn't know if I wanted to shave that day or not and I didn't I shaved the next day so, I mean, I need to shave again because I'm all sc scritchy, scratchy. I don't know. What's the term for that? But anyway, I, I haven't shaved today. And it's like, I mean, I'm very feminine. I'm, I'm, I'm a gay guy. So, I mean, it's not like I have to have the excuse of being very feminine. It's just the way I am. Um, I'm very girly. I... Truthfully, uh, I would like to fit in a size 2, but I um, can't fit in that size. I'd probably die of blood loss <laughs> or blood taped off. Anyway, I'm, I'm pretty big. I am not... I am what you would technically call morbidly obese, but I'm working on that. Um, so, yeah, I mean... I'm just me. Uh, I'm a man. I have man bits, but I'm very feminine. And um, I mean, I could, I could put lipstick on for you if it makes you feel any better. I mean, I could do it on camera. I don't know. But what I'll do is I'll probably end the vlog today. And to all those out there, raw. Bye, everybody.